Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to do a parallel analysis, as it's described in the behavioral sciences mostly, uh, but in a more general way, it may be referred to as a Monte Carlo approach to determining the uh, statistically significant eigenvalues in a principal components analysis or factor analysis. Uh, what I've done uh, previously in a video is a principal components analysis on these data which are premium discount uh, premium discount values and percentages uh, associated with some listed investment companies listed on the Australian Stock Exchange. Uh, I'm going to encourage you to watch that uh, that, the, that four part series of uh, videos on doing a principal components analysis because I go into it in, in a fair amount of detail and uh, describing the various output. In that video, uh, I determine the number of eigen the number of components to extract in the analysis based on a scree plot. Uh, and if you're not familiar what a scree plot is, again, I encourage you to watch the um, the video that I've already done on these data for demonstrating a principal components analysis. What I mentioned in that video is that you could perform what's called a parallel analysis or a Monte Carlo simulation. Uh, based on the based on random data to determine the uh, statistically significant eigenvalues, and I'm going to do that in this video here. And there are a number of programs out there that do parallel analysis, uh, but one of them that I use, SPSS is not one of those programs that does it automatically. But about ten years ago, an inv individual um, by the name of Brian O'Connor wrote. Uh, SPSS syntax and SAS uh, syntax for uh, performing this analysis within the respective stats packages. So what you're going to have to do to do this analysis, uh, you know, one way to do it, is to go to um, Brian O'Connor's website and the URL is over here. Um, if you Google Brian O'Connor and parallel analysis, it w should bring you to this uh, web page. And if you you should read all the documentation here uh, where he describes the test and the various uh, differences and the one that I use is um, is in SPSS and it's called rawpar.sps.sps and it takes you to another web page that actually has the syntax uh, typed into the into the web page and uh, what you need to do is copy and paste that into the syntax file within SPSS. Now what I like about this option in particular is that it offers the opportunity to do a permutation test approach to testing the eigenvalues or to generating the random uh, comparison eigenvalues against the actual estimated eigenvalues based on the correlation matrix that's, that corresponds to your actual data. Uh, so there's the random generation of data up, uh, um, option. So option one here, one for normally distributed random data which is the most conventional way to do a parallel analysis. So what happens uh, briefly is based on the number of variables that you have in your principal components analysis and the sample size, uh, you specify the number of data sets or samples, which is up here, uh, 100 is the default, uh, you specify the number of data sets you want generated, the confidence interval, 95 is usually what people choose for a 5% alpha level, uh, and then you've got principal components analysis, principal, principal components analysis, or principal access common factor analysis. In this case, I'm doing a component analysis. And then again, the most important uh, or arguably one of the most important distinguishing features here is that you can do just a general uh, random data generation approach to the parallel analysis or you can do a permutation approach to raw data um, generation if you will and what that means basically is that the data that you have in your uh, SPSS file are used in such a way to generate permutations random permutations of the data from which to generate the competing eigenvalues uh, that are going to be plotted in the scree plot. And the reason why that's important, arguably, is that uh, if your data are not normally distributed, either in a univariate sense or in a multivariate sense, um, 
this can be argued to be a more, or this is, has been found, the permutation approach or the randomization